Hello friends, this is Webster from my Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, help to take it with the hurt. Today we're looking at the rose garden to see what's blooming our rose garden. As we know, most of the roses finish blooming right now, but let's look at what's still blooming in the rose garden. Some uh, daylily, some echinacea, some going to seed now, so not as beautiful as they should. Garden flux. These are uh, tomato soup, echinacea. Our little gem, magnolia. Our David Hostin rose here, Munstead Wood. The lavender. Uh, pretty much finished flowering. Just need to cut them back now because there's no more insects on them, so you know there's no nectar that's left in it. Our Japanese maple, Kotonoito. More lavender. Need to cut back on the clematis. They will join up. And all our lilies, are all spent and just seed head. So what we need to do now is just go ahead and pluck the seed head. And we can still leave the rest of the lily to keep growing, but we don't need the lily to get all the energy into setting these seed pods. So we can just pluck those off and leave the lily so it can keep sending energy to the bulb so we can have big beautiful lilies next year. So we'll just pluck off the seed pod and just leave them for maybe another month or so. Once they start drying, then we'll cut them back. Our blood good, Japanese maple. Crocosmia, this one is called Lucifer. Our rose is gonna be tattered. <laughs> and our black eyed Susan. More echinacea browning up now, going to seed. But I don't deadhead my echinacea. I leave that for the birds. The birds love it. So if you can leave your garden to be tattered for a little bit, it's okay, you know, so we can feed the birds. We need to keep feeding those wildlife as long as we can. And I just love birds in the garden. So uh, once they lose their luster, you still keep these seed heads and the birds will come and feast on this. Daylil is still going. The daylil just keep going on and off, on and off all year. More crocosmias. It's a red bud, one of my favorite. Ruby Fall. It's a weeping red bud. Ruby Fall. We have Jopai weed, variegated leaf. Jopai weed hasn't started to bloom yet, but we can see they're coming up, budding up nicely. Nice pink bloom coming up on them. But the leaves are so beautiful. And as we go over to the uh, long pollinators garden, more jopai weed. And we see that some of the jopai weed lost the variegation. They're reverting back to just green, but they're budding up nicely still. So some variegated leaf 
while we still have some just green. And around it is the hummingbird mint. Beautiful color on the hummingbird mint, and as the name suggests, hummingbirds just love it. Another fave of the hummingbird is pineapple sage. Once they start blooming, they'll have the uh, red tubular flowers, which the hummingbird just love also. Pineapple sage. Still have some roses there. Or stoke aster. Finished flowering now. Or Italian cypress. Always need something else right there, especially in the winter time when most of the plants die back. We'll have it green to balance the other one that we have right up there. So now we have two Italian cypress. Lots of crocosmia. Reverna Jean Japanese maple. Russian sage, of course. And as we go up this side of the hybrid tea rose garden, lots of crocosmia in bloom. Oh, we still have a lily. Beautiful. Looking beautiful there. That should be an Asiatic lily. Or Japanese maple, struggling in the sun. And that's a dragon prince. to cut back some of my clematis here. This little beauty right here is a double cone flower. And of course this beautiful Basco Bell with rose. One Mr. Lincoln. A little double delight coming. And more daylilies. This side of the garden. White echinacea, I think it's a powwow. And that day lily, I think that one is a big snow. The beautiful white color, which match the JFK behind it right there. and our Arizona. We have some more deadheading to do on these roses.
as we go through the gate here. We can now just look at the rose garden. Not so much roses in bloom now, but that's why we make sure that we always have companion plants for the rose. So when the rose aren't at their peak, we have other flower that can pick up the slack. A beautiful Japanese maple, just spreading like a queen here, prince and queen, Japanese maple. So there we have it guys, just a quick look at the rose garden, looking at what's flowering in the garden at this time, when the roses aren't at their peak, we have other flower still in bloom. Thanks for joining us guys and spending the morning with us. All have a great day. Remember, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are released. Let your friends and family know about it so we can help the channel to grow. And of course, question, comment, drop a line down below. From my garden to yours, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, but mean to take away the hurt. And we just take a look at flower blooming in the rose garden peak of summer. Have a great day guys. God bless. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.